To assemble the Jora JK125, start on a level flat surface like this patio and put the different parts of the composter out in front of you here to start with. You will need two wrenches and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now let's get started. Let's start by taking the threaded rods, taking off the caps off the ends of them and putting them through the legs here. and screwing on one of these locking nuts on the end. Just do it up finger tight and repeat with the other rod and the other nut. and set it up vertically just like that. Next, take the thicker piece and slide it over top of the thin one. Take this one right here, you'll see it has uh, a plastic coating on the inside and then a thicker one on the outside. Just slide that right over top of the other one. Now we're going to take off the plastic parts we don't need now, put them down here, and move on to the next step. Now we're going to install the side panels. This side panel here, you'll notice, has a bit of a flange on one side, that side faces down, and it's just going to go right on top of this black pipe. Now, if it's a little bit hard for you to slide it down, you can take a bit of dishwashing fluid, dishwashing soap, and just put it a little bit on the black pipe. And now this should slide down just fine. Now take one of your insulation pieces, the ones with the holes on each side, slide that one down. Make sure that the ventilation holes here line up with these ventilation holes. And then your short black plastic piece, it goes on top next. And this white square. And now the center piece doesn't have any holes in it. That goes on next. And then finally the next square. And you'll notice you have a lot of these little plastic bolts. And you just take it and push it through the hole and just push it through the insulation that goes right through. And the idea is that you're going to line it up on the other side with the corresponding hole on the other white square. After we have put on the plates on either side of the center piece of insulation, we're going to put on the next plastic tube, like that. And then the next piece of insulation And then finally, the last panel. Keeping in mind, the this time the flange goes up. Finally, we take our last short piece of tubing and slide it on top like so. And just push it down until just the top part is showing like this. And grab your two last nuts 
and you've got your last leg here and just slide on top of these And you can finger tighten both of these nuts. And now we're just going to stand it upright and tighten these further with the wrenches. Take one wrench and put it on one side. Take the other wrench on the other side. And just give them a few turns. As you're tightening it, make sure that the, uh, the inner steel core fits perfectly over this leg as you tighten it. And then tighten it to a little bit past hand tight, so maybe one or two turns past hand tight until it doesn't move around on you. Now it's time to tighten the locking nuts on the lower support. So just tilt the composter forward and once again the wrench on either side now we're going to put on the top lid so start by finding on the side panels which top part has no holes. So to spin it around, you'll notice they all have holes until you get to this one with no holes. And do the same on the other side. And line them up just like that. And then this is the top lid here. You want the handles to be facing the opposite side as the lower support. So just fit it on here. Like so these lips right here go on the outside of the side panel. So because these lids aren't, they don't get screwed down, that's why we're choosing the side with no holes here because it's. Uh, corresponds with this edge right here which doesn't have any holes either. So just balance it like that. Take your screwdriver and one of the screws here and just screw this lip onto the side of the composter. Now these screws are a little bit, uh, they're a bit bigger than the holes and that's because they're supposed to be that way because they bite into the metal and really lock it in place. But it can require a bit of elbow grease to get them in. If you want you can use a cordless drill for this part which might make it a bit easier too. And now let's get the other sides and we'll screw them on as well. alternate panels so every other panel is the handle. The last one we put on had a handle so this one does not. The last piece to put on is the one with the latches on it. The latches go on the same side as the handles. Now we're going to take off the nut off the end of the plastic bolt, hold the insulation in, and push this right through it. Take our plastic washer, it goes on the inside, 
and put the nut back on. And we do that for the other five holes. Now that we've installed the last uh, panel and the little plastic bolts on the inside of the insulation, you can just put the lids down and you'll notice on each uh, snapper here, you can adjust how hard it is to tighten or how loose you want it just by using that little nut right there. They really snap in place very securely. There's also a little drilled out hole here in case you wanted to lock it with a padlock for any reason. The composter comes with two hooks. You can mount these on a wall and hang the composter on it. The, there's no screws included here because it depends on what surface you want to mount it into, but you'd obviously want really long ones with a lot of grabbing power. The lower part of the composter right here that's the part that these would hook into if mounted on a wall like that. Keep in mind that this gets quite heavy when it's full of compost and so if you are mounting it on a wall that wall is going to have to be very very sturdy. Now I've finished assembling the composter we can get started composting. Go to eartheasy.com for the instructional guides on how to use the Jorah composter to create awesome compost for your garden. So thanks very much for watching.